Look at him fanning over me. Hello, fanboy. He's watching me when I'm sat right here. Oh, that's a different reviewing <laughs> your content. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel featuring BH in the background. You want to say hello? Hi. Hi. Yes. Okay. Comfy. I'm just trying to get myself comfortable. Today's YouTube video is all about our high protein diet safe. Now, since I put on Instagram that I have approximately 170 to 180 grams of protein today, everybody seems to go a little bit crazy saying it's really dangerous, you can't do that, high protein diets, blah, blah, blah. and I was just like, I need to do more research into this. Like, I've never ever had an adverse effect from a high protein diet. I'm 146 pounds. Just to put it into context, 160 grams for me has never been an issue. Now, key points about protein. Just so you have a little bit of context the video of why you need protein and why I personally think a high protein diet will be beneficial for you if you are somebody who trains and wants to build muscle. Number one, growth and maintenance. So your body uses protein to repair and recover tissue obviously it is a building block if you want to recover after a session high protein is always recommended to you <laughs> you know it's just he's just coming into the video as and when so if you see a little Ben pop into the background it's just because he's just chilling <laughs> he's done he's ready I will continue number two it causes biochemical reactions so enzymes are protein that aid the thousands of biochemical reactions that happen within and outside of our cells as well. Now there are a few bodily functions that do rely on enzymes. So you have energy production, digestion, muscle contraction, which is obviously really important for the point in this video, and then also things like blood clotting. I feel like, and as a woman, I don't know if this is more prominent, but when I first started training, and I know there's a lot of girls who say this to me now, they're scared to have like protein shakes and protein bars in case there's too much protein in them to make them look bulky. But our hair, our skin, our nails is all made of protein. So I need people to rethink being scared of protein. There are two main sources of protein in this world. I was gonna say no diet, but it's in this world. So there's animal versus the plant. So animal products are referred to as complete proteins and they contain all nine essential amino acids in the correct quantities. On the other hand, plant proteins, they also provide essential amino acids, but this is on a lesser amount or aminos are missing. Now, protein sources aren't equal. We all know that like animal product, plant protein, whey, bars, whatever it is, they're not always equal, but the quality of them is super important, especially when you're looking into planning your own diet. Maybe you have an effect of bloating or like lactose intolerance. So they are things that you also need to be aware of. But the question of this video, is it safe? Are high protein diets safe? Now in the fitness industry, this is a question that is always always debated. So when I went off and did a little bit of research for you, and I am going to base this on a case study that I was reading. It is a valid case study. There are a few bits and bobs that I'm going to explain why it maybe isn't as valid as it could be, but I am basing this off evidence. I'm going to pop the title of the case study on the screen for you. And this study was to test and to investigate if chronic high protein diets will have a negative effect on your liver and your kidneys. So when people talk about high protein diets, they always say it's really bad for your liver or it's really bad for your kidney. This is just a common consensus that people say, but is it true? The one thing I'm not a fan about in this study is it was conducted with five healthy males, but only five people and just males, which obviously isn't as valid as it could be, but the study was over two years. So in terms of actual reliability, it is still pretty high for the evidence that I suggested. I'm also just gonna pop on the screen for you how much protein these male participants were having over the two year period. And it goes from more of a baseline to like high protein to like severe high protein diet. This is what one of our participants would have looked like. Let me show you his face. So a healthy male participant 
who resistance trains. This is, this is, no, so this is what it was. So they had five of these guys, thank you. That's all you need before. Yep. So we had five of these guys who participated in the study from age of 25 to 36. So the results of this study with the high protein diet. At the group level, the mean values for the kidneys and the liver remained constant throughout the two years. So they did not change. That is a huge finding for a high protein diet, especially in the second year where they were having mass amounts of protein. It had no effect on their liver or their kidneys over a two year period. Now, the amount of protein intake and the actual health of a person is more of a valuable factor than anything else. So if you already have somebody who has had problems with their kidneys, with their liver previously, they might have a more adverse effect with a high protein diet, but this is something that is already medical. But if you're just a healthy, happy individual, it depends on your health, that's what the evidence suggests, that there isn't, isn't really any negative side effects. Theoretically, a high protein diet could cause undue stress on the liver, and of the kidneys, but almost any nutritional compound, even water, could be dangerous at very, very high levels, but you don't hear people saying, watch your water intake, you, you might die. It's just not something that's very common, unless there's a medical reason behind something. Same with a high protein diet, there's a medical reason, same with carbs, same with fats. So it does apply to a lot of nutritional compounds. It just seems that protein is the one that a lot of people have like an iffy situation with. So simply put, nutrient overload is not a very good claim just to base that a gram per kilogram of protein in someone's diet is negative. Obviously, I do need to bring you back to the point that this was with five people, just males over two year periods. So they're obviously, isn't 100% validity there for obvious reasons. And I can't say 100% if there would be side effects, there needs to be obviously more studies into this. But from personal experience and from a lot of people that I know, having a high protein diet is super beneficial to muscle protein synthesis. So building and increasing the size of your muscle, the strength of your muscle and your endurance. I've never had a negative effect with high protein diets before. If I find some more research and evidence, I would definitely do a second video because it's super interesting. And I'm sure it's super interesting for you guys as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it insightful. Please let me know what more of you want to see on my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it if you do. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.